back in the day in 1982 you auditioned for Kiss. You were basically, I think, 18 years old at the time or something. You know, what what yeah. what was it like? You know, you're, you're standing there with one of the biggest rock bands on the planet and you're just uh, basically a, a kid, you know. What did it feel like at that point? You know? Well, it was kind of, I felt like this is kind of, you know, they, they had, when you think about Hollywood, you think about, you know, people come from all over the world and they come to Hollywood to make it. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't plan on it being with Kiss, but I felt like, okay, this is, this might be what I'm supposed to do, you know, to come to Hollywood and join Kiss, you know, and I just didn't really think about it too much. I was definitely, a, I was scared to, to look at them in the eyes in a, in a sense, because at that time, people had never seen them without their makeup. And I felt like I was breaking the rules, you know, if I looked them in their face, <laughs> but, but I mean, um, in the end I was just too young, you know, I think, but we had, a, we had some good jams and it was the first time I ever got to play through giant stacks of marshals. You know, I had never <laughs> done that before. Yeah. It had always been like a half stack. Yeah. But, uh, you know, why, how did you, how did that end? You know, why didn't you get the gig at that point? I just, I was too young. They, they knew it. You know, I mean, I, I was, I was a kid. These guys were, you know, international rock stars and I was just a kid. I think, you know, my experience, look, here's the thing, David, is, is if yeah. you want to get a gig, it doesn't, it, it's 50% how good you are. And it's 50% how cool you can hang out together. Yeah. Because you, in a band, you got to be like, it's like a family. It's like, you got to be able to hang out together and and be comfortable and not have any kind of weird anything anything weird going on because yeah. you know you're going to be together on a bus you're going to be together in hotels it needs to be comfortable for the band and probably they could see that I was not comfortable because I was so young I was nervous yeah. and and so they you know that's probably why they decided it's, it's my playing was probably okay but um they're not going to be comfortable on a tour bus with a kid. What was it like, you know, uh, being with Gene Simmons? You know, he does sometimes seem like a very demanding, uh, not only a musician, but a businessman in a, in a way, you know. What was he like? He was very he was very funny, you know. He was very kind, and uh, and he, he basically spent the most time with me in the studio when they were working on the record Creatures of the Night at that time. Yeah. And I, I remember there was a song called War Machine, I think, and I played, he, he asked me to play guitar on the song, just check how I would record, what I would do to, on the recording. And I remember playing that song thinking, this is a crazy riff. It's really cool, but it's very different. And I never heard a riff like that before. I was trying to figure out what key it is, you know? Yeah. And then I was playing some other stuff and Gene said to me, hey, Doug, do you ever play major scales? And I said, Major scales? What, what, what? I didn't even know what the, a major scale was. <laughs> he goes, you know, do, re, mi, fa, so. And I go, oh, of course I know what that is. And it's like Michael Schenker plays that stuff all the time, you know. And, <laughs> and uh, I started playing. He goes, yeah, that's great. That's great. So then he, they invited me to come to play live with them. And then Gene wrote down three songs on a napkin or a piece of paper, I'd say, I should say. And I learned the songs and I went to the rehearsal. And we practiced them, and yeah. then they called me back a second time, and they asked me to learn. Uh, well, there, there, one of their songs that they wanted me to learn on the first time was um, "Black Diamond," because that's kind of was kind of like their their version of a. That was kind of like their version of "Stairway to Heaven." Yeah. You know, their, that was like their "Stairway to Heaven," and so we played that. But then when I came back, they wanted me to learn "Detroit Rock City." That was really cool, and. Uh, um, yeah, I, I just think that the second audition, I started to get really like, wow, this is, this might be happening. And I, it was very strange for me. Yeah. Is that, uh, I also somewhere read the story that you, uh, that Gene Simmons gave you a phone number and that you called him, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that story true? Yes. Yes, it's true. It's true. <laughs> he wrote down his number on the very first day okay. and and then he, you know, I called him when they were on tour, and he 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 hung up on me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it must have felt weird at the time. I mean, you were young and everything, and they were like big rock stars. 
But you know, you well, know. yeah, I felt it felt it was weird, but I, you know, it, it's all fun. It's funny now. It's a part of my history, you know. So I don't really, I'm glad it happened like that. Thanks for watching, and if you want more music news, just subscribe to Ultimate Guitar TV and press that little bell to get notifications.